Well, hello, sports fans. I'm Harry, and welcome to Harry's Stuff and Such. Today, I'm going to go into part four of my ANET A8 3D printing adventure. So stick around and see what's up. Well, welcome back. So, like I said, this is part four of my ANET A8 3D printing adventure. And I want to let you know where I'm at, uh, how the A8 has been doing, and what improvements I have done to the A8 to help its print quality. So, first off, I've got some samples of some prints that I've made. Uh, this is a very first Benchy that I printed with the A8 stock right after I finished assembling it. And for the first print, it's not that bad. It has some problems. There's a little backlash because the uh, smokestack is not exactly round. It's more square than round. Uh, there's a little bit of ghosting here and there. A little bit of under and over extrusion in spots. But uh, overall, it's not that bad considering this was the very first one. I've got a few others here as well. Uh, this it's the fourth one that I did after I've added a few things, uh, fixed the uh, backlash and so forth, and it looks much better. The smokestack is uh, circular. Uh, instead of square, the uh, circle is circles and squares are squares. The ghosting is, is uh, pretty much eliminated, as well as the under and over extrusion. Uh, it's looking really well. Uh, so I've added a few things to the A8. Uh, in particular, I've added a uh, X and Y uh, axis belt clamps. I've added X and Y axis tensioners. I've also added an X axis cable chain. I've added an extruder button because my thumb was getting kind of sore and tired of pushing on that metal screw on the extruder. Also, I've added a, a semicircular uh, uh, cooling duct for the part uh, for the cooling parts. Uh, I've added filament guides. Also, uh, one frame brace. I plan on adding others. Uh, those are the items that I've printed. Uh, some items that I purchased was the uh, say I replaced the stock power supply with a 30 amp power supply. I also uh, added a glass print bed. Uh, which I've been thoroughly enjoyed. I've also added a, a new Y carriage plate, a uh, much better Y carriage plate than the one that comes with the A8. Also, I've added uh, uh, Noctua cooling fan for the extruder. It's much quieter. I've also added a new part cooling fan, which was a little more powerful than the stock one, and so I'm able to reduce the, uh, the fan cooling speed down a little bit, so it's a little more quieter. Also, I uh, added some uh, dryline uh, solid polymer bearings to replace the linear bearings that come with the A8, and it's uh, gotten a lot quieter. Um, as you can see, I'm printing with the A8 at the moment. I'm printing a saxophone mouthpiece uh, as we speak. So uh, let me give you a quick tour of the parts that I've uh, added, and also show you a little more detail about the uh, uh, calibration parts that I've printed as well. Okay, here we have my A8, and as like I said, it's printing a uh, saxophone mouthpiece at the moment. And you can see some of the parts already that I've added. Like I said, there's the uh, Y-axis tensioner here. I've also added the frame brace here, as well as the X-axis tensioner. And of course, you can see the cable chain, as well as the new Z limit adjustment. Uh, underneath the, the carriage plate I've added uh, uh, belt clamps for the y-axis as well as behind the uh, extruder carriage I've added a belt clamp for the x-axis and of course you can see the uh, glass plate that I'm currently printing on and back down here on the back side I've added the 30 amp power supply which has a cooling fan as well I intend to encase uh, the power supply, add a uh, on-off switch as well. Yeah, that's my future upgrades. Now then, let's take a look at some of the parts that I have uh, made with the A8. Well, this is the first benchy that was printed with the A8 right after I had finished assembling it. And as you can see, 
it's not really that bad but there are some issues the, uh, the smokestack itself is, is more square than round uh, there are some other issues there's some ghosting here and there um, also some extruder uh, issues there's a little over and under in places um, I think you can see some of the ghosting here I'm not quite sure if I can get the light just right but overall I thought it was not bad for the f very first benchy right after assembling it now this next benchy this is the fourth benchy now I had um, taken uh, X and Y belt and adjusted them some to get rid of some of the backlash. Uh, also uh, tightened up some areas that were a little looser than I thought and it looks a lot better. As you can see the smokestack is, is round instead of square. Uh, the extrusion issues are pretty minimal if any at all actually. And also the ghosting is, is very minimal. It looks pretty good. And then this next benchy is the last one I printed after I had done some additions or added some additions to the A8, the ones that I've uh, just previously showed you. So I think it looks a little bit better actually. Uh, smokestack's still good, circles are circles, squares are squares. The layers look really good. Uh, there's very low ghosting. There's not really any extrusion issues one way or the other. And so I th overall, this Benchy is the best one, and so the A8 is doing a good job of printing at the moment. Uh, so the upgrades that I added helped out a lot. This is the uh, calibration cube that I printed, one of the first ones, and it, this was the first one that I printed before uh, adding any of the improvements. And it still looks really good. And the Z-axis, the X-axis is, is nice and defined, same thing with the Y. Uh, dimensionally it's quite accurate it's within a few hundreds of millimeters of 20 uh, millimeters because this is a 20 millimeter cube so all three sides are quite accurate and then this is the last calibration cube I printed and again it is quite well good actually it's a little bit better so the improvements that I added did indeed help its print quality X looks good Y looks good uh, Z looks good, the layering looks very good, uh, and again it's dimensionally quite accurate. Now these are a few items that I've also printed. This is an item that I plan on using for a dry box that I'm building. This will be a pass through for filament. Uh, it has a hole in the center so that Teflon tube can pass through that and then the filament through the Teflon tube. Uh, this will be on the inside of the dry box. The second uh, screw uh, nut here will be on the outside, so you screw them together, it clamps it nice and tight. And then I have a, uh, uh, a cap to put on here whenever I don't have any filament so that uh, the moist air does not get into the dry box. Uh, along with that, I have a canister that I printed uh, with a screw lid. This uh, canister will hold some desiccant to help keep the dry box dry, but as you can see, the lid screws on uh, so it's nice and smooth it has no issues whatsoever and so the A8 did a, a, a good job printing even with our screws and when I printed this I printed the, uh, the lid in this fashion and I printed it without any supports as a matter of fact and it did really well uh, and of course this the uh, cylinder it printed sitting up like this and it printed it quite well and of course I had had no supports on it as well um, let's see this is a part that was printed uh, using ABS this part will be used uh, for a 3D printer that I'm building from scratch so I'm using the AA to print ABS parts to help build that 3D printer So overall, the A8 has done a good job with these items, and uh, I'm quite pleased with it thus far. Well, okay, so that kind of gives you an update of where I'm at with the A8 and what I've done to it to help improve its printing quality. And as you can see, I have improved the quality. And uh, when uh, in this description of this uh, video, I'll add a link to all the uh, 
uh, parts that I've printed as well as the parts that I've uh, purchased. I purchased all of my parts off of Amazon. Uh, I purchased all these items with my uh, own funds, including the A8. Uh, there's no sponsorship here, or no one's uh, giving me any money to say anything good or bad one way or the other about the A8. Uh, and speaking of that, what I would like to say about the A8 is that uh, it's been an interesting journey so far. Uh, has it been 100% enjoyable? Well, the answer to that would be no. But it has been very interesting. Um, overall, I have enjoyed my experience with the A8. Uh, I set out to learn more about 3D printing, and the uh, A8 helped accomplish that. And that doesn't mean that I haven't had my problems with the A8. Uh, there were some assembly issues. Uh, like I mentioned in the first video, I had to send the first one back and get a second one. Um, I've had clogged nozzle. Uh, I've had a couple of broken throats. Uh, I've had some issues with other items, but they've all been worked out. Uh, I uh, uh, have enjoyed this journey, uh, but would I recommend this journey to someone? Well, I've already have, and yes, I would, with some caveats. And that is that you probably need to be mechanically inclined, be willing to uh, spend the time and put into this uh, A8 as, as just like any other uh, hobby or adventure you want to take. Uh, but it's not without its frustrations and even roadblocks. And if you don't have a tolerance for that, then this is not the 3D printer for you. Like I said, if you're willing to buckle down, learn, learn a little bit, uh, get your hands dirty, even scraped up, and uh, throw out a few explic explicitives here and there. Uh, I think you'll do quite well. Uh, like I said, I have enjoyed the uh, printer. Uh, I have enjoyed this journey. And for the price point, to get into 3D printing, I think it's a, uh, uh, an excellent way to do it. Having said that, uh, I, I plan to uh, continue my printing with the A8, uh, continue improving it. Like I said, I'm using it to print parts for a printer that I'm building from scratch. And uh, I even have another printer on order. So I'm gone from one to three and possibly four with the uh, idea of another printer that I'm thinking about building. So, uh, so anyways, that's where I'm at with my A8. And if you like this video, Hey, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. That way I kind of learn what people like and don't like. But what I would really like you to do is go ahead and click that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Uh, on top of that, it'll help keep me off the streets. And probably anything to keep me off the streets is a good thing. Anyways, folks, I've enjoyed this. Uh, and I hope you have. And I look forward to seeing you on the backside. Y'all take care now.